Alright everybody, so I had a game plan, changed my game plan, now I have a new game plan. Uh, what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is, uh, pre-wash all the dishes because some of them have sat probably longer than I've been alive. And the next thing we're going to do is, I think we're going to get the berry mix ready. And I think I want to semi-cook it separately, um, and pre-bake the pie crust ever so slightly before we combine the two. Uh, in theory, in theory, the, the berries will be more cooked thoroughly, and the pie crust will be a little bit more resistant to solgification. Solgification. That is, a uh, another... Webster's Dictionary, proven word. Uh, so we got these here cheap old pie pans. They're made of aluminum. They're uh, probably an eighth of an inch thick. Not very fancy, but they don't have holes in them. And so yeah, we're gonna use these. Uh, so I'm gonna try. Initially, I was gonna make one pie. I was gonna do the berry mix on the stove, make the crust, and make a meringue. I decided that I'm not ambitious enough to make a meringue. Can I do it? Probably. I already have a plan in motion where I would have uh, got my power drill, plugged it into the outlet, uh, chucked up a, a whisk in it, and beat that crap. Because you know, making meringue by hand is a bit of a bit of a hassle. And instead of breaking out an entire stand mixer just for meringue, I think my power drill would have done a pretty good job. I would have cleaned it a bit first, obviously. But uh let's uh let's get this started. Now, I did have a uh, ever so slight uh recipe for a pie crust. I consider this to be more of a uh more of a guideline than a set in stone. Like I'm not using any sugar in this and I'm probably not going to use water. Uh, I'll probably use uh milk maybe or uh uh, something else. Gravy. Gravy, probably. I'm just kidding. But maybe. Depending on the gravy, I think. I know. Now, I think, uh, instead of using ice water, I might use something that's going to add something to it. Maybe, like, eh, probably not lemon juice. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get into this, because it's going to be another episode of me just talking, and that's just not what we're going for here. So, our total berry... Hall, I guess. Uh, I put a paper towel in there to absorb up some of the moisture because I don't want it to get moldy. I wasn't sure when I was going to do this. Uh, luckily, she left, so I have uh, I have the kitchen to myself today, so I can do this without any interruptions and I can videotape without any annoyances. I'm not going to use all of these, and I was going to pick out the strawberries, and I still might if I see them, but. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I want this to be a black raspberry pie. I'm not going to worry about the red raspberries because there's so few of them compared to the rest. And that would be a pain to, um, that'd be a pain to uh, pick out of here. But I am going to pull out a majority of the strawberries if I can. For one, I'm not entirely sure how wild strawberries taste. I'm not sure if they have a core like uh, store-bought strawberries do. Like the, I don't know, they call it a heart maybe? And I'm not sure how they cook up. So, this I'm semi-familiar with. Those I'm not familiar with at all. So, so that's, that's that. Uh, I haven't really thought of how many. I do want to save some for... I do want to save some for my ever-so-loving warden. Uh, my grandmother. Because I try to live by the role... Just because everybody else is a scumbag doesn't mean you have to be. So, I'm going to save some back because I try to follow my own rules, at least. If I say something, I mean it, right? Like, like she, uh, there was a bit of a, an issue today. Actually, it turned into a big old fight because I reflexively locked the deadbolt on the door and she like she was trying to like order me around which i guess she does anyway but you know every once in a while i get sick of it and i'm like listen 
you gotta learn to ask, you gotta learn some manners, because you don't just tell me what to do. But apparently I was wrong about that too, so. Um, you think that's enough? No, do some more. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'll eat what's left of a spoon. That's good. That'll save some back. That's, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <coughs> so it turned into a big thing, and it's just super annoying, because it's like, you know, I do all the heavy lifting, and she's going to make a huge deal out of a, a door being locked. When it, it would, completely honest, I swear to you, I swear to you, because I never, you know, I never did it before, but when I lock... When I get into the door, 90% of the time I lock both locks because that's just how I was raised. That's just how I do things. So, like, it was not intentional. The the butting heads with the with the old wannabe dictator, that was intentional because that was bullcrap. She had no right to... Well, nobody has a right to control another person. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. Now this stuff here, this magic powder... This is called cornstarch. Uh, interesting fact, you probably don't care, this is not, not a lot to do with cooking, a little more to do with science. Uh, this, when you mix it with water in the right proportions, it turns into a non-Newtonian liquid. And uh, when you're applying force, it solidifies, but when the molecules relax, it liquefies. It's actually really cool, but it's like a grade school experiment. Like, I'm not teaching very many people very many things, because it's like, uh, a very... A very child, very childlike experiment. Now, I'm not sure how much of this I want to use. I want it to be thick. But I'm not going to add a lot of liquid. So I don't want it to be too thick. But the berries have a lot of liquid. And another thing is, this stuff will clump together. And then you'll get like, you'll get like, I probably should put this over something while I'm doing that, huh? Yeah, there we go. But you'll get like, uh. I don't know how to describe it. Let's just say it's better to keep it as fine powdered as humanly possible during the cooking experience. Because the more clumps up, the more you get like little tiny uh, little tiny like I can't even talk. Like that's the problem. That's why a lot of people do voiceovers in their videos. And I don't. Actually, I'm going to keep this dry because I'm going to use it for the flour. Uh, that's why a lot of people do voiceovers for videos. Because while you're doing something and trying to talk at the same time, it's far more difficult. For some. Uh, the point in matter is, cornstarch, when mixed incorrectly, will clump up and turn into like little balls of like... I guess if you'd imagine like hot glue, but if it was cold. So... <laughs> right, just making sure we're still recording. Uh, when we get to the point of me cutting up the butter, I'm probably, I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably going to go off camera because I'm gonna cut up the butter. I'm not gonna do the the Damascus folding thing. Uh, I'm cutting a lot of corners. Like I want to do this and that, but I have about four hours till she gets back at max. And I want to have everything cleaned up and out of my way so I don't have to hear anything. Now, as I said before, in the situation I'm in, she'll find a reason to complain. Like, like that's already, that's already, like, set in stone. Whether I make a reason or I don't, there will be a reason. So, so why, uh, why bother? Now I have this uh, camera on its iPod, on its stand, and I have it wedged in my toaster so you can get a good camera angle. So I'm not going to be able to move you around. So I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to try to find a place to put this that I'm going to get everything covered in cornstarch. That'll, that'll do. And I'm going to pour this into the pot over there so it can do its cooking thing. And that was a... <laughs> idiot. That was a complete success. I, uh, only spilt two berries. So, here's what we're looking at. 
I do think I'm going to have to add a little bit of water or turn down the heat a wee bit. Let's, uh, I have it at a 7. I think it would probably be much, much better to go at it at a 3. So, now we have the berries cooking, and there's nothing in there to solidify, to get things to... An equilibrium temperature that things don't stick on the bottom. So I do want to add some sugar to draw out some moisture. Here we go. Sugar. Oh man. This is the thing that bothers me, you know. We ain't got no money, right? Anything that I need, we ain't got no money. But we need all these kitchen appliances and now we have no room to do any cooking. It's, it's almost like a plan to make my life more miserable. So, considering I'm trying to make two pies, I think I'm going to do, well, that's one to be one batch. I'm just going to split it up. So, let's do uh, two cups of sugar. That sound fair? I think that'll be fair. So, let's do, uh, how do I want to do this? I am not going to be able to scoop it out of there with this. I'm not going to be able to pour it in there. I'm going to need a spoon to stir the berries anyway. So, let's, uh, let's just cut to the chase, shall we? Mmm. Cement. I mean sugar. Now this is a uh, this is a little more to taste, I would think, because if you have some more tart berries, or you have more sweet berries, you could adjust your sugar, you know, to to match that. Um, me, considering I'm still going to add the citric acid just because I can. Um. I'm going to add two cups of sugar, and that's going to be that. I'm not adding a ton of citric acid. I'm not sure what's regulated. Like, what's what's an amount that's, like, reasonable? Go one more itty-bitty bit. So we're just going to put in, like, half the container. I'm just kidding. So there we go. That's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see appropriately. Right, that's approximately two cups of sugar. So we can pour that in here. like so. And we're going to keep that on low heat because, like I said, we do not want the berries to stick and burn. We don't want the sugar to caramelize. We want everything to get nice and soupy so that it's going to be much easier to pour around and, you know, make the pies when the, when the time comes. Oh, that's wicked. Somebody did something right for once. There's a, a pastry baking sheet behind the flour. I don't remember putting that there. Somebody else might have been smart besides me. That's, that's roof shopping. We'll wash that, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I've been having a... Well, you guys know. You see my walk and talks. I just... For some reason... I just hack up a lung half the time. Alright, I'll throw this lid on here. I'm really contemplating adding, like, just a few ounces of water. I'm really afraid that if I don't, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm being a big baby. Jeez. So now we're going to take this guy here. And we're going to, I'm going to start the mix, right? I'm going to start what I need for this. Uh, it's going to be... Water, salt, or no, it's water, salt. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, where's my, where's my secret pie recipe? Family, family pie recipe handed down through generations. That's definitely not on this random website. Come on, do what you're told. Do what you're told. Now, enough for a nine-inch crust, double crusted pie, in which we're not double crusting our pie. I'm not doing one on top. We're doing a thing on the bottom. We're going to do the fancy little crimping around the edge thing, and that's why I'm cooking it separately, because then I can pour the stuff in, give it one final bake, and the top won't get all crusty. So, two and a half cups of flour, that's good. Uh, teaspoon kosher salt, that's good. We're going to skip the sugar, and then when it gets to the butter, which is going to be coming up very shortly here, uh, I'm going to go off camera, because it's going to take a while. <laughs> so... So let's get the flour, shall we? 
Uh, did I use that spoon to actually stir the berries that were wet before I got the flour ready? Because that sounds like something I would do. Now, now I shook the berries. Good me. Good, good man. Good man. So, all right. Two and a half cups of flour. And if I... If it's not enough, like, this is enough for a double pie, like a top crust and a bottom crust. If it's not enough, I can roll it a wee bit thinner. Or I can... Uh, you know what? I could always go with, like, three cups and adjust it. As so. See here. So, got three cups of flour. Three cups of flour. You can see it there. That might be a wee bit, wee bit much. Three cups of flour into the bowl. Now it says one teaspoon of kosher salt, but let me get this flour put away before I make a mess. Make an additional mess. So kosher salt, I particularly like fine crystal sea salt. And for, what does it say? One teaspoon of kosher salt, that's about, that's about that much. Actually, that's probably about one and a half teaspoons, but who's counting? <laughs> um, can I be the spoon? That homogenized, homogerific, and that's it, right? Citric acid for the for the berries. So, see, it's used for canning tomatoes, which I find kind of funny. As it says specifically tomatoes, because tomatoes are already highly acidic compared to other things. So, the fact that it specifically says tomatoes and not like peppers or something is weird to me. But as far as this is concerned, I'm thinking like I'm gonna use this spoon as a as a way to show you how much I'm putting in. So, you can see, spoon. Okay. It's a big clump, so a uh, bit overkill, what I was trying to do there, but, uh, you know, that's probably a, no, that's about, that's about what I was thinking. I'd say, tablespoon and a half, maybe an ounce. And that's just gonna, it's gonna make it a bit sour. That's going to give it an ever so slight resistance to some bacteria, because it'll raise the pH. So, yeah. In, in theory, in my head, it works. Does it work? I don't know. But you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm cutting up some butter. I'll be back. Alright, so I did in fact add uh, 
approximately two ounces of water to the berries to kind of jumpstart things a little bit. Shouldn't be that big of a deal because I anticipated the berries rendering more liquid when they got heated and covered in sugar. Um, have I been wrong? Absolutely. But that is all right. That's part of the experience. Now, uh, as far as this is concerned, I was going to do milk, but I decided, no, I'm not going to. I could do eggs instead of water, probably, right? And give it like a, a golden niche to it. Let's, uh, let's disregard the recipe. Let's throw in, uh, let's throw in a large egg and then get the stirring. Now look at that. One large egg left. It's destiny. So now, I'm going to try to stir some of this in, but ultimately, you're going to have to get in here with your hands. Like, you're not going to have a choice. So, when cubing up the butter, you're supposed to cube up two cups, or yeah, two cups, a half cup, into small cubes. I don't know what small cubes mean, so I figured dividing the stick into fours... And then cutting each cube into a small piece like that, like this big, little cheese cube, would probably be alright once I'm done mashing it all together. So, so we'll see. I could be wrong. Um, I might have to add some water anyway. Let's, let's see how this works out. Because, you know, what I might do is, what I might do is, um, start mixing this up, and then just, like, wet one of my hands every now and again to get some water in there without actually pouring any water in.
All right. So we got like a, a rough, semi-shaggy, ever so slightly probably too moist ball of dough. But once I flour the surfaces to roll it out, it'll probably be okay. Like it's, it should be great. But uh, we're gonna take five, we're gonna throw this in the freezer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spray your pens. All right, enough nonsense. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. After I find space to put this stuff, I actually had to spend 15 minutes figuring out where I was gonna roll this at because she got so many kitchen gadgets. And of course, we don't have one to roll pie to crust. As long as it stays together, it's all right, right? Like, this looks good, but it doesn't feel good. See, it's getting a, a wee bit crumblier, crumblier, crumblier than I would like.
All right. <laughs> that, I think that turned out good. The problem is... The measurements are underneath the dough. <laughs> so how... What do I do? What do I do? Uh... I'm going to cut in the biggest circle I can. That's what I'm going to do. Here's our pie dish. So, we don't want it to be the same size because it's got to droop down in. So, I'm thinking like... That looks so great. Oh boy. Alright. Well, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the best we can, because that's what we do here. And I might have to I might have to run. Because uh because my berries sound like they're sputtering, and it's only on level 3 of heat. Let's take a quick little vacation from this train wreck. They are bubbling. Let's uh, turn that down to low. Okay. Alright. It's very... Very close to a pie-filling consistency. I am... I'm happy with that. We'll turn that down to low. And we'll let it simmer off a little bit more of the moisture, get it to condense a bit more, and that's going to be ready to go. This train wreck, on the other hand, well, we're just going to see. Well, we're gonna, I guess I was pretty close to the center, so we'll see how close I am to, like, to, like, the actual... Did I not cut through this? Like... Like, is this dough or Kevlar? I don't want to cut the mat. I'm not sure how strong that is. And actually, now I can see what I'm looking at. I can roll this out a bit more. I, so, um, my grandfather, right? My grandfather, uh, one of the better people in my life, uh used to be, used to work at a bakery for like a very, very, a very long time. And that was the one thing I never really learned from him. Like, like a lot of the wood stuff, a lot of the wood stuff I, I learned from, you know, my grandfather. But he was a, a baker for, I don't know. Probably longer than I've been alive, for being honest. And I never really learned much from him in, in that sense. So where are we with, like, thickness? Yeah, that looks very presentable for a pie crust. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it. It might be a wee bit thick, but I would rather it be a bit too thick than too thin. So let's see how we do. So I seen this fancy little trick on the YouTubes when I was contemplating pie making, and I thought this was very clever. So they kind of like took this and rolled it up on. Oh no, it's stuck. How did it stick to this? Ah, uh, that's a bit concerning. I put down a pretty good amount of flour. So I seen this and I thought it was pretty clever. So they kind of like picked it up. Oh, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, so as you can see, I am not a seasoned baker. 
Uh, I think the dough has enough rigidity that I can pick it up. So we're going to do that. Where did I put that? Didn't I have one? Oh, there it is. So put this about in the center like so. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're doing this Baker style. We're doing this Baker style. I got it flipped over so I can give it a nice, generous pack down of flour so it doesn't stick. Right? A little bit here. And now we can grab this guy. And we're doing this. Because this is how people do it. So I should be able to do it. I am just as good as everybody else. No. Oh. That is true on some levels. and Some, some levels. And that's how it's perfectly executed. Dead center. No mishaps. First try. First try. Emerald Agassi couldn't have done it better himself. All oh, right, no. Do you know what? You know what? That I like that. I like that. And considering the size of this pie, I think I made too much dough. This might be a seven incher. Pizza style. This is how I made pizzas for way too long. So, so I know how to pinch me some crust. And that would be one finished pie shell. All right, that only took an eternity. Let's get us. Oh no. Oh, that's gross. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen because I'm a guy and that doesn't matter, right? I set it on top of the microwave and there was some cobwebs up there. I don't see any cobwebs in it, but that's kind of gross. I'll tell you one thing, man. This much work, there could be a whole freaking spider in there and I'm still eating it. <laughs> I didn't check to see if you guys were centered from after I moved you. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's try to get us one more. What time is it? It's already about 7 o'clock. I've got about an hour and a half at best. But I only say that because I just really don't want to deal with it. I really don't want to freaking deal with it. I don't see... There shouldn't be anything to deal with, to be completely honest. But... That's alright. It's alright. Depending on... The next course of action, it's not going to be too much longer, and maybe I'll be free to do something with whatever's left of my pathetic life. Maybe I'll be a professional pie maker. <laughs> Bam! That's uh, copyrighted, isn't it? Can't do that. I'm going to get copyright infringement for saying BAM in my video I'm cooking. It's like, what? And I said his name, too. That's like double copyright infringement. I'm going to try not to make the same mistake twice.
I don't know how much of this I'm going to speed up or how much of this I'm going to cut out. So, yeah. And now that I've learned a little bit, you know, there's the thing, you know, throughout my life, I've had a lot of bad, bad times, right? I've had a lot of decent and a lot of good times too, you know? And the thing of the matter is, regardless of how it turns out, at the very least, at the very minimum, I have that experience. So... I guess that's a silver lining. What do you think? Think it's big enough? Yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry. A little bit more ain't gonna ain't gonna be that big of a deal, right? And I was saying, like, you know, regardless how this ends, regardless how my life went, you know, I might have had, what's that Chinese guy, or uh, Korean, or uh, Oriental, uh, some Oriental uh, nationality? He does, he says emotional damage, and that's like a big thing people, people got into. Well, you know, I got some experience, I got a few... I at least got a few hundred dollars in my pocket, and, uh, and, uh, a bunch of emotional damage. Now, now I get to be like those people I, I avoid. Like, what the heck's that guy's problem? Why is he always freaking out? Like, oh, that's right. I remember now. Can we do it right the first time? No, we can't. Can we try again? All right, all right, that was presentable. I want to give it a little more to that side, though, I think. But that was presentable. That was almost, almost cook quality. I reckon. Should I stab holes in this? Like, I think with the butter, it's going to be flaky enough that it's not going to be that big of a deal. What am I going to do with the extra dough? I don't know. Maybe I'll just bake it and dip it in what's left of the berry sauce. Alright, like I was saying, now I get to be damaged goods like the, like the girls I always try to avoid. There ain't a doubt in my mind that... My, uh, emotional fortitude is not what it used to be. I'm either too numb or too not numb. There we go. That's a pie, baby. Well, the, the shell. Uh, so, I'll be back. I'm going to pre-bake them a little bit and see what happens. All right, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm not going to pre-bake them. I was going to... But this this was a this was an ever so slight amount of work, and if they were to like poof up or something, 
I, I would be worried. I don't think, with all that butter and how thick that berry stuff's getting, I don't think I'm going to have too much of an issue. So, let, let's just do this. Alright, so without further ado, I'm not sure if this should cool first. Hmm, you know what? Uh, that's probably a bad idea. Doing it. That's not half bad. That's, wow. That's not half bad at all. I mean, there's a little left, but with it being a bit on level, I'm a little worried about it. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. I mean, that's like... I couldn't have guessed that better if I tried, man. Well. Well, that's, uh... Probably about as good as it's gonna get. Mmm. Not happy. Not happy with it. So, uh, this fancy little oven thing. I, uh, I don't know how to turn the light on. So, yeah. I kind of re-preheated. Because I didn't think it would take that long. So the light would come on. And I could show you guys the pies. But, uh. It's taken a minute, but it gives me an opportunity to tell you, oh, there it is, it gives me the opportunity to tell you that, uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be taste testing this tonight. It's probably like, you know, 350 degrees all the way through, and it's going to take a little while for that to cool off, so, uh, yeah. Here is the reveal. I'll probably do, if I don't get too... impatient if i don't get too impatient and edit this up tonight and post it i'll probably do a taste test in the morning all right there we go it looks good it looks very pie like so that's a good thing uh granted granted this is this is a fairly simple recipe with a couple of my own little tweaks to it so i mean it's nothing like mind-blowing if i would have went with uh the damascus the damascus butter pie crust and a uh and a meringue on top then i would then i'd toot my own horn a bit more but that's a pretty pretty standard pie so yeah uh, but i thought it'd be fun to do i uh, didn't think i'd have the house to myself for another freaking week but hey 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 can't complain there at least i ain't getting yelled at or complained to or What's that you millennials say? Triggered. Or something or another. So, there might be a taste test. There might not. We'll see. I'm probably not editing this tonight, so I'll probably do, uh, probably do a taste test in the morning. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the morning. Okay, so it's a bit seedy, but that's the that's the downside of the wild raspberries. And it didn't quite thicken up the way I liked it to. But I give that an easy 7 out of 10. Catch you next time.